tight berm, whoa, tight berm, good, around, and then we kind of get up on it, down, nice, good, a little loose, come on acid guys, there we go. What's up you guys, Forrest here with the FOCO Flow Show, and on this week's episode, we get New bike day where we are riding and reviewing the 2021 Marin El Roy, a steel hardtail with a 63 degree head tube angle, basically a hardtail that you can ride like an enduro bike. So I've been looking for a steel hardtail for a long time. We found one in stock in Seaville, which almost never happens, took advantage of it. And so we're going to get it out there. We see what we think. So you guys can get out there, find that flow. <music> Marin El Roy. As you heard me say in the intro, it is a steel framed hardtail with a 140 millimeter travel Marzocchi Bomber Z1 front fork with a super, super slack 63 degree head tube angle and a steep 78 seat tube angle. I've been looking for that steel hardtail. I've heard a lot about steel hardtails. They're supposed to deaden the trail vibration, be less harsh than aluminum coming from that salsa timber jack. So we found one working with Endeavor Cycles there in Charlottesville, Virginia. They were super cool to work with me and the bike sat for a little bit. So it got a great price, $24.99 plus tax to pick it up. Looking at the specific build kit, the uh, Dior drivetrain with 51 teeth, 12 speed takes care of the shifting. You've got some FSA components. Braking is handled by the Shimano Dior quad piston newer brake set with a 203 millimeter rotor up front, 180 in the back. 170 millimeter X Fusion Manic dropper post and Maxxis Asagai 2.5 tires front and back with the DD casing on the rear for that hard enduro riding that we're going to be doing. But the real highlight of this bike is that Marzocchi Bomber fork. 36 millimeter stanchions, a 44 millimeter offset, and as you may know, Marzocchi is now owned by Fox, so it's got the Fit4 damper and the Evil air spring, although it is an air sprung fork. So it should be able to handle anything I can throw at it. So let's see how she climbs and descends on the trail here in a second. Marin El Roy. See what we're working with today. Get some chattery stuff. We'll see how she climbs. See how she handles some rocks, some drops, some tech, some flow. First test is going to be climbing a trail called. Creekside, but up Hayward, Songbird, Song Mountain, whatever we call it, I always forget. Fairly new trail here in Charlottesville, near Ragged Mountain. Did an XC race here recently, got some rocks. Technically I'm on a size large, but it's so long that the Geo wheelbase, which is long for a large, is kind of close to what I ride on an XL. So this feels comfortable. I don't feel like I'm over top of it. Maybe a little. It's a hard tail. So obviously it climbs decent. Got a heavy wheel set or wheels, tires. Asagai. I think it's a max grip in the front. And then a double down casing Asagai in the back. And it's not a light wheel set. Or sorry, tire set. But it's gonna be a hardtail ridden like an enduro bike. So they put enduro tires on it. Which, if you're calling a spade a spade, it's kind of how I like to ride. So that's why I bought it. Super, super short 35 millimeter stem. So it's worried the front end was gonna wander on me a little bit. But because 
it's a size large, I think that's preventing that from happening some, which is nice. Pretty good so far. So the initial climbing impressions of the El Roy is it's a hardtail, so pedals efficiently. The wheel set is decent, right, with the uh, Shimano 400 series hub, so starting and stopping isn't great. But that isn't really what I'm concerned about. The tire combination, like you heard me say, the Asagai front and back makes for some rolling resistance. Does make that climb a little bit more of an effort here. Um, going through some of the tech and again trying to keep that nose down wasn't a big issue because uh, I went with the size large. I think that helped a lot. So again, this is not an XC climbing bike, but you see there that it definitely has the ability to get up the trail. But again, the job of this bike is just to get you to the top so you can turn around and get down. So here is a couple of other options when we're headed a different direction. Rock feature down. It's one of my favorites on this trail. Got some berms here. Stay tight. Tight berm. Whoa. Tight berm. Good. Around. And then we kind of get up on it. Down. Nice. Good. A little loose. Come on, ass guys. There we go. <laughs> and we'll pop it. Woo yeah. I like that. Hop. Yep. Yeah. Woo. I got a lot. Oh. Dump the gears, climb it back up. There we go. Uh, shortcut. Sorry, trail builders. Oh, that was cool. Okay. Nice. We got Forrest on the transition smuggler. We're going to see if I can keep up with him on the hardtail. Pretty flowy downhill run here, a couple of drops. Pretty flowy, pretty fun. Really, the Elroy should be built for it, if we're being honest. Here we go, first drop. Nice. Drop two. Nice. Drop three, nice. Oh, a little hard on that landing. Where are you going? Where are you going? All right, come on, come around, come around. You didn't tell me you were taking the easy way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm just kidding, there was more berms that way. He likes berms. Uh, here we go, we're back on it. Pedal through here. Yeah. Uh-huh, looking good. Yeah, there we go. Full berm line, nice. There we go, yeah. Oh, mid shift under power. Here we go, pedal through here. We'll pump. Yeah, I like it. There we go. Real smooth on the hard tail. Woo -hoo. Couple of jumps coming up. Oh, I like it. Pump. Boost. Woo, yeah. Uh, coming back around. Here we go, 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 go. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. That's good. Hard tight berm. Ooh, swing it out. Nice. Oh. Pedal, pedal, pump. Pump, pump, pedal. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, it's hard into that berm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So far so good on the flowy downhill run and then we're going to take it over to the other side uh, of Ragged Mountain for a little downhill with a little more tech pedal in between to get the, the full shakedown on the bike. All right, uh, yeah, let's take another run downhill here. Kind of flows right, left, right, then a little log drop followed by a second little log drop and then it gets loose. Good. Yeah, okay. There's one. Oh, that's not even a drop anymore. <laughs> Here's the other one right here. Then it gets loose through here. Really rocky. Nice. Really loose. At the bottom, we're going left. Nice job. Right here, left. Get into an easy gear, and we're gonna power climb up here. And then a rock move to get down. All right, this hub is not the strongest, highest engagement hub. Get the feet set over here. Drop the seat, angle that head tube angle. Yeah, there we go. Woo, yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah. Woo. 
Ooh, there it is. I like that. Yeah. Ooh, big lock, big lock, big lock. On the heart now. Oh gosh. Heart to lie. Yeah. Oh, 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 ah. Yeah. That's good. Oh, that's good. So downhill, the bike is super, super stable, and it's just not as harsh as the aluminum frame timber jack that I'm coming from. I think you attribute that really to the way that the steel absorbs vibration on the trail. Of course, slack head tube angle and that bomber fork feels fantastic. So it really is a hardtail that you could ride like an enduro bike. We've got some slow speed tech. We've got downhill runs. Again, it is just, it's not the best climber, right? I don't think it's designed to be, but it isn't a pig either. You don't feel like you're just dying to get up to the top of the mountain to get back down. It just is a unique bike. Really, really cool feel. If you've never ridden a steel hardtail, I'm stoked to now own one. It definitely lives up to the hype and then you get a different ride experience. But again, I'm not an XC rider, so I'm not a particularly versatile rider in that sense. Um, I much prefer just getting to the top of the mountain to bomb downhill. So this bike checks that bike for me. Super, super happy with it so far. You know, there's some things I would upgrade. The uh, original brake set, those Diorgs, they're okay, but would probably consider upgrading, maybe putting my Maguros from the Timberjack on there. That wheel set is pretty low end with the Shimano 400. A high engagement hub would make a huge difference, and you could probably play with the tires to get to a good grippy Enduro wheel set that's not quite as heavy, maybe a lighter wheel set, but with some cush core in the back. So before we go, here's one more downhill run for good measure. Guard one. Oh yeah, that's firm. Woohoo! Rock Garden 2. Woo! what we got. Should be perfect for the old El Roy. Alright, seat down. There we go. Yeah. Wait on that front wheel a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, that does it for the Marin Elroy Shakedown ride. It is a rowdy, fast, fun downhill bike. It's a little heavy on the uphills. That might have something to do with the steel frame is a little bit heavier and the Asagai tires front and back. The Shimano Dior drive tames, good enough, but you know, pedaling backwards, it drops down the cassette a little bit. That's annoying, but no big deal. Overall, it's a fun, awesome bike for around $2,500. So if you've ridden the Marin Elroy before, let me know in the comments below. What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Or is there another steel hardtail out there that you like better than the Marin Elroy? Or what is your favorite? Let me know so we can all get out there and find that flow.